Hi everybody, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. Uh, we're gonna finish off the Mordor. Mordor. I'm gonna ruin this. Really like this, like imps. Probably, probably fucking Joanne does. This is Joanne's work. The void is coming. Coming oh, is he whistling? Coming. Yeah, he's loving this. Away with you, damned reaper! Oh my god! Your scythe to grain, not my soul. Did you fall again? Yes. Okay. What happened to you? The bane of all life-loving souls, maniacs and their gods, the humans. They wanted Lord Boreas' great star stone, so they fashioned him a staff, the elemental staff. It makes him king, for it dethroned his brothers. So glad was he with power, yet another bane, that we were given to the humans and their knives. Stone of stars, stone of blood, a cursed be. What can you tell me about Boria? Uh, does it doesn't really matter what the butter find. In his castle, in the dungeon, the fortress we built him, all he longs for is eternal winter, a season of pain and imprisonment everlasting. I have Boris' elemental staff, I seek to destroy it. Oh, blissful tidings! You have slain the betrayer, then see. No more, for you have found the forge here in this hall. Throw in the staff and it will fracture in the fire. I'm afraid I must leave you. Fear not. Fear not like I must. Away, damned reaper, away! Oh! Yeah, it's a very desirable noise he makes. Alright, so the elemental staff is right over here. I'll give it to myself. Oops. Whatever, I'll just leave that for Kent. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. I believe we've done it. Oh. Yes, I gave you one, by the way. I'm not, sure not sure how good it is. Yeah, we have a fight coming up, I think. Uh, wand is... Okay, but the other ones I have a better. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright. Bring Midor over, I want to heal her. It's like my hard drive is fucking up. No, no, my external hard drive was like disconnecting if you guys heard the noises. God damn it, stop looting. Fine, I'm gonna just fucking talk to her. Ah, Sauce Hunter. I had so hoped to avoid meeting you here. But perhaps we were bound to face one another. Your kind have long interfered with mine, after all. You must think me quite the villain, mustn't you? The things you've seen. Without the proper context, I can imagine it's all quite shocking. Horrific, even. And I suppose you must have pictured me, some bloodthirsty madwoman, intent on what, I wonder? Power? Gold? Chaos for its own wild sake? The truth is rather less simple than the imagination would conceive. So many imps slaughtered at your command, so many innocent lives lost. Surely. The sight of a bit of blood doesn't turn your stomach, Source Hunter. No, I imagine you've become more than accustomed to such things. If only my dear Immaculates took the same approach to our great work. But it seems all too often that only the most vicious of them rise up to the required tasks. All the same, these deaths were necessary. Soon enough, the pain they suffered and pain you have suffered, Source Hunter, will be washed away, cleansed. This is my promise to all of Rivalon. What could the point of this death and destruction possibly be? Death. I've nearly forgotten the meaning of the word, what it means to most. But I am no monster, Source Hunter. Like you, I have seen the living snatched so senselessly from this world. And I have mourned. But I have also discovered that weeping was senseless. Like infants, we squall, clinging to a day that is not ours to keep. Now that I know the truth, I am free. What you see as slaughter is in fact a dispassionate process. 
I take no more pleasure in this so-called destruction than a wave takes in the flood. What I do must be. I wish you could understand. What use have you for of the bloodstones? You know as well as I the enlightening capacity of these stones, Sauce Hunter. I've heard tell that you've been zapping the life from precious star stones, and that you are bolstered by the power within them. Your experiences are unique in all of Rivalon's history, but you are hardly the only player in this story. As Star Stone enlightens you, its child, Bloodstone, enlightens something of my own creation. Uh, the Immaculates call you the conduit of the goddess. What goddess would demand such barbarism? Barbarism. Quite a chauvinistic term to apply to something one hardly comprehends, isn't it? But I will concede, the power I intend to bring to bear upon Rivalon is no more divine than your boot. We are free agents, Sauce Hunter, all of us, and we owe no higher power our blood or our flesh. I have posed as a priest in service of a truth greater than any goddess could hope to be. The Void Dragon, are you the one compelling it closer? So you have seen it. Yes, it's as I thought. You and I have more in common than you think. You know as well as I that the Void is coming. In fact, if I'm very precise, it's already here. But you needn't be afraid. The Void is ourselves. We are destined to rejoin it. What sort of creation do you mean? Tut tut, Sauce Hunter. You and I both know I could hardly trust you with such information. Though if you continue stomping around in my wake, you're sure to understand soon enough. I'll not see another innocent lost your campaign of death as soon as now. And here I believed I was starting to reach you. My foolish optimism bears yet another disappointment. But I do believe we agree on one particular point, Sauce Hunter. This does indeed end now. Alright, time for buffs. Secret advantage! A second, let me just buff my haste. Alright, good. Let's go. The fuck? Uh. Oh shit. Are we gonna save it? <laughs> Probably a good cause. Uh. She's not a part of our. She's not a part of the fight though. Hopefully I can hit that guy, okay. There we go. Nice. Oh, we can charm those? <laughs> yeah, of course we can. We can charm anything. <laughs> Alright, what, what's Joan going to do? Leave the one on the left, if you can. Leave the one on the left for me. I'll try and charm him. Actually, then again... Is that... It's cover, right? That might block me. Oh, no, it's like just uh, I might be able to shoot. Okay, I'm gonna try to do one to the right then. Never mind. Left or right? I'm gonna give one to the right. Which one? Which arm arrow? Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. Fine, I'll just get this one. Oh. Uh. I think it's just because that one's probably close enough to the fire to just wail on. I, I didn't even look at these guys, what they're, what they're damaged by. Oh, Weak to they, dying. I guess they burn. Apparently not that much fire damage, though. Yeah, I check him out? I'm looking now. I can just look at my next turn. Um, yeah, that kind of strong against fire. I, I, I guess that. But, um, air magic is the way to go. Okay. I got lots of that. Failing that, earth or poison, and water, then fire. Okay. Oh, and they're weak to piercing damage. Holy god. Yeah, it's, I think um, it's you, isn't it? I'm actually not even going to bother using a uh, Charm Arrow then, because I can just... Just don't mind me! Hey, girl! Wow. You almost got him. Hmm, how much damage is this going to do? I think I can split this. Eternal 
Yep. <laughs> Reading failed. Dark Avenger won. What the fuck? <laughs> We're just watching Godzilla fight. Uh, what is this? <laughs> Glad you charmed one. And they're just completely distracted with it. <laughs> what the hell is Dark Avenger 1? Get in there, Nick! <laughs> Am I just... Like, legitimately, do I need to do anything with Medora? At least these guys are just... You never do anything with Medora anyways. My Fucking useless. Yeah, diseased. Yeah. What do you mean you never do anything with Medora? I fucking saved your life with Medora in the last fight. Bad mouthing Medora. Let's see what Dark Avenger does. Permanent. Uh, the more dead allies, the stronger you become. Ah, uh, that's not that bad then, because he's almost dead. Having trouble there? Clearly not. What the fuck? Why is- wait, wait, why did I hit him? What? Oh, he was our ally. Yeah. He was our ally. Looks like someone done fucked up. No, it, it fucking did this on purpose to me. I'm gonna lower resistances. That's a good idea. Wow. It only worked at one of them. <laughs> it's okay, I know this what I'm doing. This is Wunderbar. I know what I'm doing, it's fine. I'm Do it, Mike. At, I'm good at games. Freezing failed. Fuck. Doing it, Mike. It's because I'm the only one with balls that actually goes in there. The door is always like beside Why'd you. Why'd you go in there though? Like fucking like. Why would I not go in there? Is the question. <laughs> There's no need to. Dude, I, I thought I was gonna stun the two that were not the guy that was on our side. And then. And well, it, that failed, didn't it? Well, it fucking targeted the wrong person. Because it, it jumps to a random second person, but apparently it decided the one that is our ally. It sh shouldn't actually happen. Not my problem. The game's bugged. The game's Bug bugged. Jumping mechanics. Yeah. I tried to cr I tried to crouch jump into there. Guys, this just isn't working. You know, you know. So honestly, I'm just gonna cast this on myself. Honestly, there's a huge pool of blood here. I'm, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> like, do you see how much blood's I on the just, floor? Like, <laughs> you asking me why I don't jump in with Medora? Because there's no need to. Dude, she, but she does nothing then. She, that's, Summon, uh, that's all her fucking ability. Like, why not fucking make her go well, in? Well, I can't charge in because there's a big fucking obstacle in the way. Oh, I, I tried preparing for that, but we fucking decimated the ones on that left side. You charmed the one that was closest, and I fucking wrecked the other one. There's nothing left for me to do. I'm just so, saying. Like, well, the best thing I can do to, like, to immediately impact the fight is summon Nick. So I summon Nick. Hey, what is she going to do next turn? Raged. Well, I have a bunch of punch points left over from summoning Nick. Oh god. So uh, I'm, oh, I'm dead. Try not to die. Oh, I, think, I think I reflect damage. Not miss. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh>. Nice. Sweet <laughs> Doge. <laughs> All the Doge. Hey, what I the hell? How charge. do you die? All right, I can do this. I should have used power stance. Whatever. Too late. Yeah, like you have like all this shit for mobility and you never use it. Oops, I think I missed. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Whatever. I think I give a fuck. It moved at the last second. Game is bugged. Another bugged aiming mechanics. Another piece of ourselves perverted towards Leandra's will. 
Soon she'll have desecrated our very souls. We've got to end this, and soon. Nothing Leandra might do could shake our identities. We are source hunters. Our job is to destroy that which would harm Rivalon. Materialistic and spiritual. Shit, I want to be spiritual. I like what they do. Mean to fear. That's okay. It's the lore master. I, I have more than enough. All right, let's, let's put it in. Throw, throw it in. Throw in the elemental staff into the fire. I think it's a boss fight. Brother, sister. Well, no, we it's not. Free. And who is this? Can it be that a frail mortal human faced and bested our own scheming warriors? Ah, but this is no mortal, I see. Strange, you take the guise of a source hunter. But I shall, of course, honor your chosen form. Indeed, I suppose I should have expected that one of your kind would snare our brother sooner or later. Morius always did dance uncomfortably close to the dark arts. But I suppose the others of we elemental monarchs thought it better not to interfere in the affairs of his realm. No, like fools, we waited for his pride, his hunger for more and ever more power, to pull us from our own seats of safety and into his sordid storm. We, and with us all the subjects of the realm of fairy, do owe you our lives, Source Hunter. If, no, not if, but when, we might be of assistance to you in this dimension. You must call upon me personally. Uh, who are you? I am King Sewer of the Summer Kingdom of Calvia. Brother, alongside the other elemental monarchs, to the unfortunate and insane Boreas. In earlier days, we ruled the four realms of fairy in relative peace, each of us the master of our own kingdom. But something changed in Boreas. He grew darker somehow, more than was typical of his usual melancholy. We worried, yes, but chose not to intervene. Boreas was the Lord of Hyperheim, and it was his right to rule it as he pleased. When our brother called the elemental seats to convene in Hyperheim, we were ecstatic. Boreas seemed again interested in the joint rule of Fairy, in upholding the long-established diplomacy of our lands. When we arrived, however, it was not Boreas who greeted us, but a dark figure. A woman with a stare like blackest fire. In her staff she held a demonic power, the likes of which I've never felt. And as we were sucked into its depths, we thought we'd never see the light of fairy again. I found the White Witch, but she's trapped in ice. Can you help me free her? Source Hunter, it would be my sincerest honor. Take this rune and use it to summon me when you're near the witch once more. If she can be extracted from Boreas ice. I'll find a way to make it so. You said as a woman who trapped you, do you know, what do you know about her? I listened closely, when I could, to Boreas' doings. From what I could tell, it seems this woman had little contact with our deranged brother. After the initial exchange of the staff. From what I could tell, the arrangement was thus. She gave him us, contained. And in return, he gave her access to his great star stone, and scores of imps he'd invited to Heimerheim. After that, the two parted, and I heard little more of the woman. In his fits of madness, Boreas would sometimes bellow abuse about the demon woman. I can only assume he meant the same who trapped us. I'll take my leave. Best be on our way then. The spread of all the kingdoms won't rule themselves, you know. 
Alright, so definitely in the Source Forge we're gonna cook some pizza. Actually, wait, what the, why do I have an exclamation mark? What the fuck? The white tea has oh, wait, it's... It has been conclusively proven, Source Hunter. The Immaculates are nothing more than vile servants of demons. They must perish to a man. We must show no mercy. Holy fuck, Joanne. Be they any exponent of human nature, man or woman, fair or foul, sweet or savage, they must all be put to the sword without exception. Blood begets blood. Demons beget death. <laughs> Just agree with him. My yeah, thoughts for once exactly. I agree. Like, fuck, like, for once he's like, fuck the Immaculates. And I agree. My thoughts exactly would be no mercy for the scum. Relief to me indeed to know we steer the same course. A course plotted in blood that cleaves through a scarlet sea. Mercy doesn't misguide you, Hunter, and a good thing that is too. For what happens to the clement predator? It starves. No, better to steer my straightforward course, the course of the sword aimed at the heart of all that is demon aligned. Fuck demons, etc. Alright. Fuck demons! Make, let's make some pizza. By the way, you leveled up. I know. For reminding you, and Jan didn't level up. She doesn't need to level up. The shame of it all. Alright. Because that's what he does. Alright. I have. I want to do dual wielding, so we're going to save our points, actually. Yeah, let's, let's just save the points. Why do I have like nothing in bodybuilding? I don't even know why. I, I did everything in willpower. I have five in willpower because of gear and independent. Fuck. All right. Well then, I don't want to do anything. So we are now going to go back to the prison. Where's the prison? We're going to Australia. No, the prison is not Australia. Darn. Intruder detected. Ah, oh, the sweet sound. If you want to teleport on me, I'm going to free the white witch. Alright, let's see. Alright, hang on, I'll come from right now. Damnation! Not even a crack! This is your white witch, then. And you're sure you want to free her, are you? Even our mad Boreas wouldn't have wasted such precious ice on a petty criminal. Whatever she did to find herself here must have been rather severe indeed. But I am in your debt, and I would be remiss not to honor your request. Shield your eyes, Source Hunter, to melt ice of this refinement. I'll need to summon an equally rare flame. Oh, time to go stare right at it. No, shield your eyes, Ken. Oh, I didn't see it. What happened? Gods, it's colder than a witch's teat. How very callous of Leandra to inter her only sister in a barren tundra for eternity. Ikara, you're all right? The ice, King Boreas, and your sister. What a frigid hell you've endured. And yet not even a frigid hell like this could induce you to put on a shirt, could it, Ahu? My old friend, surely I have you to thank for my salvation. That honor goes to a pair of talented source hunters, actually. If not for their efforts, I'd be quite uselessly prowling around your prison still. Then perhaps I ought to address my savior directly. <laughs> source hunter, is that the masquerade? Well, what a motley crew we are. Isn't there somewhere a bit warmer we might discuss matters? Uh, what do you mean by masquerade? We're members of the Order of the Source Hunters. Ah, yes, of course, of course. <clears throat> do pardon me. I didn't mean to imply you were very clearly eternal beings in the guise of minor mortals. Not at all. Please, let's do carry on. Are you the White Witch? Oh, oh, yes, yes, I suppose I am. But I do prefer my given name. 
Ikara, that is. Charmed. But I hope I haven't disappointed my own hero. Am I just as white and witchy as you'd hoped? How did you become imprisoned here? First things first, Source Hunter. For my freedom, I owe you every imaginable thanks. My soul had withered in this prison and I might not have survived much longer without your help. Now, about the culprits. My corrupted sister and the mad Winter King. When I realized exactly where and to whom Leandra was consigning me, I was certain I'd never enjoy the sun's warmth again. But neither she nor I anticipated the Source Hunter. That was her mistake and my blessing. I never would have imagined Leandra capable of dealing with the likes of Boreas, but she has changed into someone I hardly recognize anymore. You stand accused of murdering si the Sicilian High Counselor Jake. Why are we still fucking on that thing? I take no pleasure in the memory of that night. The thought of hurting anyone or anything is abhorrent to me. But in this case, I judged it necessary. If you've come this far, I trust you've learned that the Counselor was far from a humble civil servant. This doesn't excuse my behavior, but perhaps it can help to explain it. What happened the night of Jake's murder? It's a sordid story, to be perfectly frank. Two sisters, a philandrous, treacherous wizard, death and mayhem. Hm. Are you sure you're interested in such things? The sparkle in your eye belies your better nature, Source Hunter. Now I know that it is your duty to get to the heart of this. And, in truth, the events of that night were but one part of a larger and much darker matter. A matter in which I'll dare to beg your assistance before we're through with one another. Now that terrible night. One night, as I slept, I had a sudden revelation. No dream, but a vision. My sister Leandra and my lover Zandalor. I didn't understand, but I recognized their location. Sicile's King Crab Inn. I arrived and looked through their window, but inside, everything was wrong. Leandra had fled, and Counselor Jake stood over the wizard, a knife in his hand and hate in his eyes. As I watched, he drove the dagger deep into Zandalor's heart, and I was too late to stop him. In that moment, I broke. I saw before me not a man, not even a beast, but evil incarnate. And I used Source to slay him. On the floor lay Zandalor. In my hands, I held a Jake's life force. I had sworn never to use Source, but I couldn't walk away. And so I did the unthinkable. I used the Counselor's life to save Zandalor's. He was alive, but only just. Betrayal. Murder. Source. We were all of us guilty now. If you were any other source, we're all of soldiers choice, now. You'd strike me down where I stand after that terrible admission. Fortunately for us both, you are no other source hunter. Tell me about Leandra. My own little sister, if you can imagine it. She was always the more ambitious, the more exacting of us. And she had no fear of the darkness that so often accompanies Source. Her collusion with King Boreas in imprisoning me here confirms my worst fears. She is planning something far greater than I could have anticipated. For this reason, and with a heavy heart, I must ask you, Source Hunter, to find out how far exactly Leandra has become entwined in the dark arts. I hate to extend my own invitation, Source Hunter, but I believe I ought to accompany you to Zigzax's hideout. Presumptuous, yes, but I'd recognize the imp's essence just about anywhere. Both he and you must learn more about the darkness that has extended itself into our dearest Rivalon. 
And I believe I know where we must begin. Ah, but unless that's a bear flailing through the threads of time, I do believe Master Zigzax is on his way. Make way, Source Hunter, landing in three, two... Hunters, you've done it! Ikara is free! Ah, what good it does my impish heart to see her safe and bright as ever! We have much to discuss! Come, one and all, to the end of time! A spot of something warm and the soft glow of the tapestry ought to do us all a bit of good, hmm? Now, if we're done playing hide-and-seek, let's not waste a jot more time. Oh, I just can't wait to pick your every synapse. After you, Master Zixax. Teleport. So that's the White Witch, eh? I expected some... You've solved the murder and caught the culprit, yet this case feels anything but closed. Uh... Horns than I expected. Here There's more woman. to this crime than simple fact. Killing a killer is hardly the same as killing an innocent, after all. We'll have to learn more before we can assess Ikara's true guilt in this matter. Fortunately, she seems quite eager to tell us more about this entire dark affair. Romantic. Yeah, is that the one I want? It's romantic. Yeah, lucky charm. Instead of crafting. Good. Yep. Good. What does increase chance to hit? <laughs> Let's go to end of time. Time to go do some Chrono Trigger dialogue. Lavos, no. How are you here? Trucking me. Force hunters, I've been eagerly expecting you. You found another star stone, haven't you? Go on, go on. Ask me how I know. All right, I'll bite. How can you tell you if I've I found another stone? <laughs> when you know what to look for, and luckily, I do. Do you remember when you first arrived on this plane, when the dormant portal that led us to this hall sprang to life? It's happened again, my friend. Another portal has reignited. The end of time is growing by the stone. It's all connected somehow. You, this place, the void, the stones. Soon we'll have unraveled the whole truth. Oh, how I do love a good mystery. Why have you discovered the new portal? You don't imagine that I'd presume to explore it before you. No, 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 that would be most unmannerly. And not to mention, well, the... the... What is it? No, oh, I'm sure it's nothing. It's just that beyond the portal, I sense a... well... A presence that I can't quite account for. It is at once powerful and faint. Perhaps only a shadow, perhaps more. But this is only speculation, of course. Come, come, let me show you the way. Once you're through, you'll be able to report exactly what we're dealing with. Do you want to go through the thing first? Because there's like a shit ton of dialogue we have to do here. Your call, man. Uh, fine. Let's go in there first. It's a hall of heroes. We'll, we'll just kind of pop in there momentarily. At, at least so that Impressive we can see what it is. A hall fit for crime. For Edua. Leosral Edu. Some weird person. You. It cannot be you. But it can only be you. The guardians. Those I deceived. Those that deserted me. But oh, how weak you have become. As weak as you used to be strong. Look about you. You used to lead and now, now you follow. Ignorant of your faults and ignorant of your fate. That it has come to this. Woe to the world that it has come to this. He won't believe me. We've unlocked the, the hero the Hall of Heroes. You can just when you dismiss your heroes, your champions, sorry, they will come here to rest. So that's what the Hall of Heroes is about. Now you have something to loot, Kent. I know. There's also like diaries everywhere. So who's John something this? Well, 
Wouldn't you look fine with a strapping warrior at your side? Or is it mages you prefer? An eagle-eyed ranger? A stealthy pickpocket? Take your pick of my swords for hire. Let's see who you got for hire. Of course, Chief. But maybe you ought to get rid of some of your <clears throat> old ones first. Never does well to sour one batch in sight of the other. It's basically the thief and the other person that we'd find here. So it's really not a big deal. This place is actually cool as shit. Ancient letter. Let's read that. Uh, esteemed re re uh, generals, all of Rivalon thanks you. Uh, sympathize deeply. Okay, there's really nothing here. I don't know. Is there anything else in this room? A couple of diaries turn about. Uh, couple of cups at the forks at the end of time. Why are they, like, not fucking worth anything? Point it ally, the war has been won. I'm not gonna read through that. I'm lazy. Actually, the log entry will do it for me. Found a letter belonging to a general of the Great War. This officer is the opinion that the, although the war is virtually won, he can't get enough of bloody carnage. Uh, carnage. The letter is addressed to a fellow officer with whom he shall meet at a funeral. Where's the rest of the diaries? One up north. It's by the uh, chair. One up north. Oh, there we go. We'll, we'll just skim through that. My fellow general. Something, something, something. All right. More log entries. General story. I guess we'll figure that out soon. Uh, all right. I don't know. I, I think we'll do the rest of the dialogue uh, next episode, guys. So that's all the time we got for today. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.